This is Wednesday, the 11th of May, and I'm so grateful that you tuned in on the internet here so you can hear Morning Mana. This is Mark Millette from Bucharest, Romania in Eastern Europe. This is one of my favorite songs. If I had a favorite, this would probably be it. It goes like this, talking about the Lord. You promised me that you would be my counselor. Almighty God and the Prince of Peace. You promised me that you would be my father. That you would love me with a love that would not cease. I tried you and I found that your promises are true. By this word that I know could not begin to tell Lord Jesus what you really mean to me. Oh, you're more wonderful than my mind can conceive. Lord, you're more wonderful than my heart. My highest hopes and my fondest dreams. You're everything that my soul has ever longed for. Lord, you're everything that you promised, and you're so, so much more, more than amazing. Lord, you're more than marvelous, you're more than miraculous, could ever be, you're more than wonderful, that's what Jesus is to me. I guess that is one of my favorite songs right there. Now, I want to speak to you just for a few moments here on missions. This week, we've had a wonderful time with some brothers that came over from, Roma, uh, from America here to be with us. And you had the interviews yesterday, day four yesterday, uh, Brother Steve Roy from up in Boston and Brother Fred Golf from Oklahoma. And now I want to speak to you about the heartbeat of the Lord. You know, the Bible tells us in Luke chapter, in the last chapter of Luke 24, and our Lord's last words were these. He said, and it said unto them, he said unto them, thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to raise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And then he tells us in John chapter 17 and verse 18, listen to what he says here. Well, 17, 17, you know that by heart. It says, sanctify them through that truth, that word is truth. But then he says in 18, he says, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. So it's God's will that you know that his desire is to go ye in all the world. He said, brother Lord, I can't go anywhere. You can go to Walmart, amen. You can go somewhere to Pizza Hut, stand somewhere, give somebody a track and tell them about Christ. We're in our last hours, last moments, last seconds before he comes back. You say, oh, I don't think so. I think Trump, Trump is going to be our next president. That's good. Uh, or Cruz or whatever. I know our minds are all mixed up and messed up with all the affairs of this world. But let me tell you, keep in mind God's will, and that is to go in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And I'm so glad for you that, that are there faithful that pray for me. I have some brothers that send me a little gift every month to, in Pigeon Forge at Romania Mission. And I'll give you the date if you, and the address if you want to send them there. And, uh, and you help me. You say, well, you're begging for money. I'm not begging you for your money. I don't need you, but i got God. He's the one who gives me everything I need. But I'm trying to cut you in on something where you can set up some treasures in heaven. If you're not involved with us, get involved with somebody who's getting the gospel out. Somebody who will preach the gospel in all nations for his name's sake. Amen? He paid for them. He paid the price. 
and he told us to go. So will you be a part of it? Will you help us? Will you please stand with us or kneel with us and pray for us as, as the Lord leads you about the work of the Lord here in Romania, in Bucharest, Romania. And thank you for watching. Thank you so much. May the Lord Jesus bless you. Our address is at the end of this film. And we'll see you in the morning with morning manna. In Jesus' name, amen.